What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have some WWE action figure news for you guys. Big, big news relating to a bunch of cast cancellations, a lot of new things that we're going to be getting in the future. Not necessarily some new figure images of the actual figures we're going to be getting, but I will be showing you some images of what the figures are supposed to be. And um, I have a lot of news on cancellations and series and stuff like that. So uh, you guys can go ahead and listen up for that. So let's go ahead and get started. We got the first bit of news is that the next Walgreens exclusive elite action figure is going to be Paige that we saw at the Wrestling Shop Live in London from uh, Bill himself. You know, they showed off that Paige figure and this is going to be the next Walgreens exclusive. I guess these Walgreens exclusive figures actually do pretty well for Walgreens so they are going to continue those. So Paige will be the next one of that. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but I, threw, I figured I'd throw it in here anyways. So the next news that I have for you guys is that we are getting a brand new WWE Elite line. We're not, we're no longer going to get the entrance greats, as you guys know. The new entrance greats, Elias, is going to be the last entrance greats figure that we're getting. However, we're going to be getting WWE Ultimate line here, so it's going to be called Ultimate Edition, as you guys can see. I think that this Asuka figure that we saw at Comic Con, the render figure, the render picture that you see on your screen is uh, going to be one of the figures. I think this weekend, actually, they're going to be announcing it this Friday, um, the 16th, at the Mattel Toy Store. They're going to be uh, showing off this new line. So it's going to be really awesome. Um, I'm going to have images going up of all of that stuff either on Friday or Saturday. Um, so you guys will be able to check out what figures we're going to be getting in this line. I think it's going to be a really big deal. I think that we're even supposed to be getting like a few interchangeable heads on these, like three head scans. We're supposed to be getting really good accessories with great detail and stuff. So going to be a big weekend on Friday. We're going to find out from Mattel exactly what figures are in this line. I'm just guessing that this Oscar will be included uh, maybe as a WrestleMania 35 exclusive at the store. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. So that's not the only news I have for you guys, but Ultimate Edition should be really, really flames. Really looking forward to uh, what they do with this set. Anyways, I have some more in information for you guys right here. We have the flashback exclusive series to Walmart. You know, the last few series, I'll pop up some images of what they look like on the screen. Um, this series has been canceled. There will not be another series. So I guess the Jake the Snake Roberts, the Stone Cold and the Harley Race, and the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, I think that's the last four. I think that's going to be the last of the series. We will not be getting any more of the Flashback series um, to Walmart exclusive, so that's unfortunate. You know, I hate, I hate to see these Flashbacks go, but um, I guess they did not want to continue the series. So this line is also canceled. Um, the Target exclusive Hall of Champions, you know, the Johnny Gargano, the Ron Simmons, the Kane, the uh, the Batista, the Undertaker, Rikishi, all of those figures. That line is also canceled. I guess Target did not want to continue those, being that they had the NXT and all that good stuff. And um, the NXT line is continuing. As you guys know, the Aleister Black and the Drew McIntyre and the Hideo Itami, all that stuff is still on. It will just be pushed back till January. That is delayed until January. So the new NXT elites are supposed to be coming in at the beginning of 2019, so we can look forward to that. Thank God those aren't canceled. But the Hall of Champions and the Flashback exclusive to Walmart are both canceled. So both of those series, guys, no more new figures coming out in those lines. Another big deal that is coming out of the figure news, guys. Uh, Mattel still cannot make Hulk Hogan figures. It is still not um, approved. They still haven't gotten the rights to make a Hulk Hogan. So it doesn't look like we're going to be getting a Hulk Hogan right now. They still can't make new figures of him. So uh, that's kind of unfortunate. I know everybody's waiting on that Hollywood Hogan figure that we so desperately have been wanting. Uh, I can possibly, I can you know live without it, but I know a lot of people really want a Hollywood Hulk Hogan. So I guess we got to wait a little bit longer on that. Still waiting on the rights and all that ish to get settled. But hopefully soon, maybe we can get that uh, Hulk Hogan figures continue to be made in the future. Um, another bit of info I have, guys, is that the next Fan Central Series 3, I only know one of, the, uh, one of the figures in the set, and it is going to be an Attitude Era Big Show. This is really cool. You know, we haven't had an Attitude Era Big Show just yet. And my guess would be that it's going to be the other half of the Hall of Champions Undertaker. You know, he came with the World Tag title. I think it'll be, you know, the uh, other half of that. So it'll probably be Big Show from the Attitude Era, late 90s, 
with Undertaker in that tag team. Probably come with a world tag title. I guess this is another sort of image, as you can see on your screen, that it could possibly be with Big Show in the Attitude Era. So that's really big news. I, I'm actually excited for that. And I think the last bit of news that I have for you guys is that the new... Um, Elite 67 Randy Orton, the chase attire, is going to be either in his Backlash 2004 attire with the red, black, and silver from where he fought McFoley. I don't think it'd come with all these accessories, but um, it will be in that attire, or it's going to be SummerSlam 2004. I was told that it's going to be a red attire, but I was also shown that it was going to be the SummerSlam attire. So I don't know if they got the picture wrong or if they got the color wrong, because the only red attire he really wore is with the black or I guess it could be the one with the gold details but they did show the SummerSlam 04 picture which is not red trunks that is like a powdered orange which we have seen from Mattel before in the SummerSlam Heritage Basics set um, a long time ago like in 2011 which I would be completely okay with one of my favorite attires he's ever worn this is obviously from his 04 SummerSlam matchup for the World Heavyweight title where he defeated Chris Benoit I actually cried when this happened I was a young kid, and when this happened, I was such a massive Chris Benoit fan. When that happened, I literally cried watching that happen. I was so upset when Randy Orton defeated Chris Benoit. And I have a custom of this figure, but uh, I think that Mattel... Um, they got the color right. I don't think my custom, the color is perfect, so I think that Mattel would get it even better. You know, the basic looks really good, so I would put faith that they would they would nail the uh, the Elite, and they probably get it even better. So I can't wait to see what that looks like. Elite 67 looks like an amazing set, especially with Randy Orton. Definitely the best Randy Orton Elite probably coming out yet. But that's pretty much all of the figure news I have for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video and all the info that I had for you guys. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of all the news I had for you guys today. You know, let me know what you're thinking, everything as far as the cancellations. What do you think of the new figures we're going to be getting? What do you think of the new attires, the, the Ultimate Edition? What do you think that's going to be about? And just let me know down in the comment section below what you think of everything, guys. But that pretty much does it for this video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.